hello and welcome to another beautiful morning we are continuing with our preparations for the 2020 jam and today we are going to be looking at chemistry and uh, i hope that you've gotten your national identity card number your nin name uh as you all know there are rumors that it is going to be a prerequisite for your jam registration for 2020 and for you to be on the, on the best side I, I need you to go get them and get prepared and get ready so today we're going to be looking at chemistry uh please make sure you subscribe to our channel it's very very important you see the subscribe button by the right hand corner click it immediately give us thumbs up share our video so that your friends can always see them whenever we release them but looking at chemistry now number one uh, question we are actually getting to review the past question for 2019 as a way for you to prepare for your 2020 so now let's look at the number one question pollution of water by oil can lead to a a decrease in carbon four oxide content b an increase in oxygen content c a decrease in oxygen content d an increase in the growth of aquatic organisms so what is the effect of pollution of water by oil that is the essence of the question and now we can easily see that because the addition of significant quantities of crude oil to any water body causes an immediate rise in the bod so now let's take an instance i'm going to be showing us something why it is uh addition of oil is not very good now if you have this is your water body this is water like we have in the niger delta region then you have a pipe this is your pipe under the water and then something or uh, by any mistake this pipe bursts and oil from the pipe spills into the water the first thing that's going to happen is that there will be increase in bod bod simply means biochemical oxygen demand there will be increase in BOD, which simply means biochemical oxygen demand. And why so? Why do we have this? This is due to the activities of hydrocarbon degraders and the blockage of oxygen dissolution. Now, there are what we call microorganisms that degrade a hydrocarbon. They will be plenty inside the water. And because they are plenty, all of them will be consuming the oxygen that is in the water. So there will be so less oxygen in the water. Oxygen will not be enough in the water no more. So that's why we have what we call decrease in oxygen content. There will be decrease in oxygen content. Because there will be plenty biodegraders for, uh, for all these biochemicals because you all know that oil is made up of hydrocarbons so these microorganisms will be plenty they, all of them will be eating up the oxygen so there will be no plenty of oxygen for the aquatic life to enjoy and that is why people from niger Delta they are always crying about this now let's move on to the next question when few drops of bearing chloride is added to an unknown sample of acidified hydrochloric acid a white precipitate please this is white a white precipitate insoluble in excess of the acid is obtained or was obtained the likely anion in the sample is what well, what is the likely anion now the anion that is likely is actually so4 please this is so4 this is the right way to write it that is what causes the this is because uh, sulfate ions in solution are detected using barium chloride so if you want to dictate surface ion you do it using barium chloride that is how to test for surface ion and that's why we are saying that this is the answer uh, it, uh, whenever you add barium chloride to anything that contains for sulfate ion you are going to have a white precipitate you understand so that is why that is the answer now let's move on to the next question oxygen in air can be removed using what do we use in removing oxygen in air that is question number three what do we use in removing oxygen in air when an when in alkaline solution pyrogallic acid absorbs oxygen from the air so if this pylagoras solution is in alkaline form it does what it absorbs oxygen from the air 
that's what happens so it absorbs oxygen from the air turning brown form to a colorless solution so it will turn from brown when this solution this solution is actually brown but when it absorbs O2 oxygen it will turn into a colorless solution so that is why we say that we can easily use pyrogorous solution to remove oxygen from the air take notes take notes now let's move down to the fourth question calculate the ph of a solution of 0 0.001 mole per dm cube hydrochloric acid this is very simple and i want you to follow up in this calculation so how do you calculate this we simply say that uh we simply first of all get the concentration of hydrochloric acid and the concentration from here we have is 0 0.001 more per dm cubed so we can simply say that this is the uh, concentration so if you convert this is going to be 1 2 3 4 if we make it a standard form so you actually have in 10 to power 4 or 1 times 1 times 10 to power 4 dm cubed now what is pH of a solution? You need to understand what the pH of a solution. The pH of a solution is simply the concentration of the hydrozonium ion. And this concentration in this case is 10 to power minus 4 uh, mole. So now, we now say that the pH of a solution, the pH of a solution is, is simply equal to the negative logarithm of the concentration negative logarithm of the concentration of the what hydrozonium ion or the positive hydrogen ion that is what the pH is so in this case we are having negative of what log 10 to power minus 4 that's what we are having and if you are having something like this how do you go about it how do you go about it? You can simply take whatever is here and multiply what is in front here. So we have minus 1 times minus 4, which will give us 4. So the answer is 4, and 4 is B. So you see the way it is calculated. First of all, check the concentration of the solution given or the acid given. Change it into standard form. Uh, pH is simply the negative logarithm of that concentration. So take what is here, multiply what is here, and get it. So that is where we're going to be stopping for now. We are going to be continuing with the rest of the question in subsequent classes. Please hit the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel. Uh, always share our videos so that your friends can see and use them. If you like our video, always give us thumbs up and uh, get ready for your jam registration. Thank you and God bless you.